Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. Today we are planting some oats just in case we want to eventually very soon get horses. And I think we're going to do a little forestry just to get some money uh, just so we have something to do while this tractor plants. Um, let's check our harvester for soybeans. I can't remember last time if we emptied them or not. It's been a while. Uh, it's been one of those those weeks where life happens and uh, it's just kind of been a slow week on the channel. Um, hopefully we'll get back to more of a two or three episode a week next week. So yeah, it's just been a while so I kind of forgot what was going on, but we have emptied our soybeans. Oh yeah, we sold them for lots of money. Now it's all coming back to me, all coming back to me now. Um, so we have 21,000, which is fantastic. Uh, we are going to take this trailer over to the trees. And that way we can at least throw stuff in here. Do something like that. So, once our oats are harvested, that is when we will kind of price horses. My one thing about horses is I think, well, not only do you have to buy, first of all, I should check if we need lime. I feel like it's been, well, I know it's been three harvests. Yeah, so we need lime. Um, and I don't think we have any because we haven't needed to yet. So if we take this... Um, and I think we also leased this. And we'll probably just keep it leased. I'm, I'm kind of curious what the leasing price is per day. Because I've never leased an, uh, an uh, implement long term. I always do kind of what I do on video where I'll lease it, use it, for like a one-time thing or maybe just to test something and then I will uh, turn it in right away. So I think I'm just going to keep this for a while and we can keep an eye on our finance sheet and see what uh, what the cost adds up to. So I don't know if it's like a thousand dollars per day or a thousand dollars just initially and then maybe it's cheaper like a percentage each day uh, but I'm sure there's a line item in here yeah animal or animal vehicle leasing cost and we spent 3200 um, on something and so we'll have to see what we get tonight uh, but for now, let's buy some lime. Which is... must be a bit big bag. It's pretty cheap. I'm just going to buy one for now. Which should be plenty. Because it's not a very large field. Uh, we can also then get this little bit of herbicide back to the farm and just clear the parking lot for the shop here. And I know we have a... Oh, we need that logging fork, don't we? Actually, let's get that instead. If I'm going to do logging soon, I want to make sure we have it and then we don't have to come all the way back. I wish I would have left it at the farm, but, uh, well... I didn't think of it, so luckily it's pretty close to our land, and I think I'm dragging on the ground. There we go. So going back to horses, uh, my biggest thing is not only do you have to buy the the like the corral and the horses, but the horses take. I'm pretty sure they take water because I think all animals, but chickens take water. And they take hay. I mean, I could just look, couldn't I? Let's see. Shop. And cow. 
<clears throat> or horse, I guess, horse paddock. Yeah, oats, that thing, and water. So we need to go look up what that... I, I hate these symbols. I cannot memorize the difference between these symbols. Um, we got to find where they... Now oh, I'm going to miss it. Now I'm panicking. I know we just found it a few episodes ago. There we go. So it looks like grass and then hay. So this is hay. Um, and the problem, not problem, but the, oh, stop it. The expense of that is that we would have to buy a mower, or we'd at least have to lease a mower and tether. So we need a water tank, a mower. Oh, that is not as wide as I thought it was. It seems like the lime has a shorter, like a more narrow width than the fertilizer. We just wasted a lot of lime, so hopefully this will... Oh, uh, this might not be enough. My goodness, that lime drops really fast, which would explain the price point of a bag of it, which means I'm going to have to go back to the shop and buy more, but we'll see how far we get. So yeah, uh, horse, what I'm trying to say in a very long-winded fashion is horses although their paddock is only 50,000 they will be an expensive investment but the good thing is once we do that then if we want to get into uh, sheep or oh gosh that was sheep or cows or pigs will already have uh, boy 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 why can I not overlap uh, we'll already have some of the stuff. We'll have the hay and the, uh, which I think sheep need, or maybe they just need grass. I can't remember right now. Um, but the water tank, of course, we can reuse for all those. So it's not just horse specific, but it is going to be a bit pricey. I need to get rid of this stump too. All right, let's do one more pass and then I guess go buy eh, maybe one, just one more bag. Right, it looks like we've done half, and I wasted a little bit initially. Come on, just get to the end of the row. Okay. Yeah, that's for sure half. So let's just go buy one more bag, learn our lesson, um, and I'll just go ahead and skip, skip this part. Okay, didn't take too long to run back for that. And now we can make sure we overlap, and we're good. We're going to miss, come on, okay. My, my biggest worry and stressor in this game is overlapping. I don't know why I make such a big deal out of it, but uh, it seems like I always look at the map afterwards and there's always like a thin like hair width line of something I missed. So maybe this will be the one where uh, everything is actually covered. It looks like it from this view, but who knows? Okay, two more passes for sure. And then we'll get the planter planting oats. Um, I did see in the big bag shop that if you don't want to grow oats, you can uh, just buy a big bag of it. Of course, it should be more economical to grow it. And since we have a planter that does it, we'll do that. And, and, and again, I think it'll leave straw swath if I remember to turn it on. So we'll, we'll get a little bit more money from that um, as well. And we're done. Let's go put 
this uh, or go unload this bag of lime for later, even though it's not much, it's something. It'll jump over there. I wish that one would have jumped over there. We'll leave it. Okay. Then we'll get to chopping. So we can see fertilizer isn't the best. Um, we might as well fill up seed while we're here because it's right there. And then solid fertilizer is here. So we can actually just get some of that. Go around. Yeah, we'll probably use that bag up anyway when we fertilize this field. So I'm not too concerned. Ooh, that looked nice. All right. Now, if we hit Y, we can change it to oat. Oh, mares it oats and goats it oats and little oats it ivy. I actually don't know the words of that song. I know I got them all wrong. But uh, if there are any Twin Peak fans out there, they will recognize that song from uh, Ben Horn, I believe, sing. Oh, what? How am I missing that? Did everyone see it? It looks like I missed. Uh, okay, let me check the map. First of all, I'm going to assume the lime has covered it all because I don't see that color. And then, yeah, if we go here, oh man, there's I, that's driving me crazy. We got to get that. So we're just, okay, this is not backing up. Or I should say I am not backing up as well as I want. So let's just turn this around and overlap just a bit more. I thought I was good to go. There we go. And now, okay, cool, We're good to go. All right, let's chop a tree. Let's see, our trailer's here. Let's get this one. Uh, so on the one of the lost episodes, the one that I recorded but fraps messed up, um, that's when I did logging poorly because what I did, and I'm going to do it again just because of time. Um, what I did was I cut them small enough so that I could pick them up. And they weren't like tiny. I mean, it's not like I was cutting little like little logs like this. I mean, they were still here-ish type length, but maybe a little smaller. But yeah, they just sold for practically nothing. It was wild. Two trees and I got like $2,000. So I guess I need to consider, do I want to do, I mean, we have a small trailer anyway, so we can't really do huge pieces, but I could do like, I could do this in thirds. Let's do it in thirds. And then we'll just use our tractor at the end. That way we make more money. There we go. And then like here. Otherwise it's going to get really heavy. Oh, well, let's do it here. Like where it kind of turns into the tip, tip top. Okay. There is one tree. We'll just do like two or three and just kind of get them ready. We might even stop the planting and just do it this episode. Good. And again, for this, uh, turn the chainsaw so it runs alongside the tree. Uh, otherwise, you will keep trying to cut it and it gets really obnoxious like that. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, about the same length. Cool, let's do one more and see if we can fit it in. Uh, let's do this one over here, because then we can clean up these stumps and just have a little more wiggle room to turn around. There, that's a pretty good one. And that one we'll just do in half. That one's not going to sell for much because it looks fairly thin. Something like that. Oh. There we go. I think that'll work. So, if we go into our tractor, we're going to stop this. The biggest concern is some of it growing before the rest, but if I leave the time like it is, it should be fine. And now, oh, I'm gonna hit that stump. I should get the stumps cleared now and get them out of my way, but it should be okay. And now we just spend a lot of time putting them in the tipper. So what I'll do is fast forward through this unless anything Okay, so here's the problem. They're slightly too big. And I'm wondering if I should go customize this trailer and take away the sides. We'd have to pay for it, but it shouldn't be a ton of money. But then it's like, are we gonna make money? Or are we just gonna spend money on so I think as long as we do like that, that should be all right. Now I will fast forward and hope that they all fit decently. Okay, I think we did it. Yes, um, at some point we can go through and pick up these logs like these um, and probably just do, well, how many can I, I think these are heavy. Yeah, we'll get this one since I can just pick it up. And yeah, just kind of start clearing out this area. It'd be pretty nice, pretty nice, uh, okay. There it is. And now we have a very long and slow and possibly potentially obnoxious. I really hope those trees don't hit my tractor. Let's see if the, okay, that's not terrible. I just can't 
go too crazy. So I'll show you the distance if you haven't seen this yet. So you can see us basically right in the middle of the map. We're going way to the north, a little bit to the east, where it says Sawmill. And you'll see kind of by the grain mill, it winds like super windy across the river a couple times. That part is really, really steep. And with the weight of the, oh, those branches are really wanting to come out. You can see how far, oh boy. With the weight of the trailer, it makes it really slow because this tractor isn't crazy powerful. It's a long trek, but it's not interesting or exciting. So I will skip ahead until we are at the sawmill to make some money. All right, let's make some money. Put your predictions below for how much we're about to make. My guess is 4,000. I just feel like wood never sells for as much as I think it's going to. All right, lock in your vote. Five, four, three, two, one. 4,800. Did we get it all? Yep. Okay, I mean, was it worth the time? Probably. Do I wish it was more? Yeah. Would it have been more in Farming Sim 15? Oh yeah. But that's okay. It also would help if we could cut them into larger pieces. If we had a larger wagon to cut them into larger pieces. So it all depends on a lot of things. Um, but yeah, 4800. Not too shabby. I will take it. Um, I think that's an episode. So what we will do, well, I know that's an episode. I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, what I'll do off camera is finish planting the field. So the next time we can worry about, uh, finishing up that field and, uh, maybe get our oat harvest started so we can look into horses or what other things people recommend. Thank you as always for watching. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe if you would like to, and of course, have yourselves a very nice day.